I am craving a pancake right now and I will show you how to make a low carb pancake. I have bought this keto baking flour which has protein. I, I wish there was an almond flour but whatever, this, is, this will do. Break this bad boy in there. Next is whisk, whisk, whisk. Add some water if you need to. Still a little thicker, so I'm going to add some more water to this. And then, of course, whisk, whisk, whisk. I'm using a fork because it's just not, it's not a lot of um, material, so I'm not going to use my real whisk. But yeah, this will do it. some clumps and stuff but I mean clumps and stuff but yeah don't worry about it it should straighten straighten it out maybe I should add some more water you know, it doesn't seem as seems a little thick and then it's not gonna what do you say it's not going to spread out on my pan yeah so let's do that okay it looks pretty good I'm using the taco sauce to put my phone on because I don't have a, well I have a stand and I have a multi too but this will do it for now. Okay so we are ready with this pancake material. I am, I didn't use any butter yet. Um, I'm going to put this on my, I warmed up my pan. I'm going to put this on my on my um, pan here. I put some olive oil. I'm kind of, you know what I'm going to do? I have some, some butter in like a little pack. I'm going to use that. I don't know how we have it, but we have it. So, in my fridge. So, you know, I gotta watch myself. So, yeah, here you go. This is my pancake. The keto low carb pancake. I'm trying to move it like that so that I can get it to cook. And yes, this is the. I don't know how we have McDonald's whipped cream, but I will eat that. I think my husband got it at one point. Yeah, I never really um, eat much sweet at night time, but you know, I don't know. I had dinner and I had. I had like chicken my leftover from lunch, I had some boiled broccoli and some a little bit of rice and so um, yeah this is almost like cooking pretty good so I am going to flip this Ooh. yeah it smells really good because I added that you know that egg smell oh, it smells really good yeah so I never really crave anything around this time but I would, I just wanted it. You know, at work, I have been trying to, there, there was this red velvet cake that I looked at and I just was like, you know what? So there, you gotta stop and not have it. So this is it, this is my dessert here. My time of the night. You know, it's cooking pretty good, pretty evenly. I raised the heat a little bit because it was just not cooking at all. So I, what I did was I put in the flame, well, my coil stuff a little bit on a low, on a high, but kind of on a low. And this is what it looks like. I want to cook it like a little crispier. So yeah, I'm just going to put it, cook it on a low medium. Just not, don't let it burn, but just, you know, that perfect, brown, red kind of deal. Okay, just look at that. Look at that butter, whipped cream, just flowing itself out of on the pancake. And then I'm going to add some, this one, sugar-free maple syrup. It's actually not that bad. Yeah, it has a lot of stuff in it, but Whatever, but one night, one night pancake craving. 
doesn't hurt, right? A little bit of that. Well, what's a pancake unless the syrup is like flowing out of control from it, you know? If, you're, if you make a pancake, the syrup should be flowing all over. Okay, I'm ready to enjoy this. <laughs> 